And we're back now with our panel to discuss the climate deal. Carl, what's wrong with this agreement, and is there anything in it that's useful? Well, two things. Uh, I was interested in the comment of Dr. Uh, James Hansen, sort of the high priest of global warming, who said it was BS because it didn't have targets. It calls for no net new emissions to be, that's the target, 2050 to 2080. We'll all be dead. And uh, very few of the people who are sitting in Paris will be alive at that point, I suspect, when, when we hit to 2080. Uh, look, this, the United States has reduced its uh, greenhouse gas emissions. It has done so not because of some international treaty, but because for more than a decade, we have put the focus on energy efficiency. We're a market economy. We're a wealthy country that it can afford to, uh, to, uh, to do this. And uh, we have done it. Uh, what we are now doing is saying to the emerging economies, keep your people poor, uh, keep them in poverty, because you cannot use cheap fuels, namely natural gas, coal, and other, uh, other fossil fuels to, f to power your economy. And it's ridiculous. Uh, I think it's, it made everybody there feel good, but I think Dr. Jim Hansen is right. Absent compulsory targets, which nobody in the world would accept, either the emerging uh, uh, economies or a country like the United States, this is the best they can do, and now they're going to try and browbeat us into, into beggaring our economy.